Hi guys, this is Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought that we would do um, the Y Wax Tag because I have been watching them and I've actually enjoyed kind of hearing everyone's stories about how they have gotten into wax um, and you know like why it brings them so much joy and so I said you know what I want to do it and I'm going to tag myself and I know that you're supposed to tag others so I'm going to tag anyone who actually sees this video and also wants to participate. I think um, I originally heard about the Y Wax tag from Martha at Martha's uh, Fragrance Corner and I've also watched Summer Michelle's Y Wax tag and I think Milted Michelle maybe started this, don't quote me, but I will try to remember to list all of the channels that I just mentioned down below so you all can go and give these lovely ladies a follow as well. They're all so sweet. So yeah, um, if you are interested in this video, then stay tuned. So um, just to kind of, I guess, start from the very beginning. I have always to some degree like been into home fragrance and smelling good and I've always liked variety like I don't think I've ever been well I used to be the person who would wear one perfume and then I would stop wearing it because I would get tired of the same scent and so for me it's also kind of the same thing with home fragrance I like to switch it up and it's kind of like the more options the better so when I originally started um prior to having my daughter I was into candles. I love to light a candle in my home. I enjoyed the ambiance. I enjoyed the fragrance. Um, but then after I had my daughter, I kind of, um, and I moved to a whole different state. So I kind of got out of it for a little bit, but then I got back into it. But at this point I had a very active, um, toddler and I was kind of like, I don't want to be lighting candles and having to worry about watching them and a flame and you know worry about my toddler pulling it down or having access to it it just it didn't sit right with me so then i kind of found out about um candle lamps and so i started with just warming um my candles and candle lamps and for a while that worked for me but the issue was <laughs> that in a and sorry if you hear laughing in the background that's my daughter she's um eating her lunch but um the issue with that is that in my open concept like my living room area it's open concept so you know kitchen living room it all kind of flows together and so it's a little bit harder to like place candles where i would want like an actual candle lamp for the purposes of being able to warm it if i was just burning a candle sure but it's a little bit harder to place them to me in areas that would be safe and would give me the fragrance output that i would want now at first uh just one candle in my open concept was doing great but then I do have to say, in my personal opinion, Bath & Body Works, the quality and the throw of their candles has gone down significantly. Um, there are candles that I will warm just in my bedroom because I'm trying to use up the last of my candle collection. And I can barely smell it even with the door closed. So from there, I was like, huh, well, what, <laughs> what do I do now? And so then um, I think I was watching... Tiffany Vanessa 35, I believe is her name. And she mentioned candle Crocs. And I was like, what is that? And so like any <laughs> great person who loves YouTube does, I went and searched that on YouTube. And the person that came up is Mrs. Kong's mom. Okay. All right. So, so I was saying, um, I was, I went to look up candle Crocs and the first person that came up was Mrs. Kong's mom. I never heard of her, even though she has a huge following. She has like 50,000 subscribers. And I watched her candle crock video and I was like, okay, this is interesting. And so then I just started watching her home fragrance videos um, in general, because I, at that point I hadn't found a lot of people who actually do or did videos on just home fragrance and who were as obsessed with it as me. So I started watching her home fragrance videos. And in those videos, she would mention at the end of them, her wax melts and she was mentioning Scentsy. I had never heard of Scentsy. I don't know if I had been living under a rock or what, but the only wax melts that I knew about were the ones in Walmart and I would buy them sometimes and sometimes I enjoy them and sometimes the scents aren't exactly, they don't have the notes that they say they do, but I thought, you know, that that was it as far as wax melts go. So she mentioned Scentsy and she mentions that um, her best friend, Lisa Roberry, is her Scentsy consultant. 
and she tagged her YouTube channel below. So then I went and looked at Lisa Roberry's channel and it opened up a whole new world because I think most people in the home fragrance community have to be familiar with Lisa Roberry. She loves Scentsy. Um, that's pretty much all she talks about on her channel. She loves it. She uses it. She um, reviews it. She talks about the things that she doesn't care for, the things that she does love. And so it opened me up to an entire new world. I was like, wow, there's a company that just does wax melts and all of these fun scents and I was so excited. And so from there, I started ordering from Scentsy. And then um, I decided after, because what happens is like when I get into something uh, or someone's channel, I go and binge watch a bunch of their videos. <laughs> and so after I binge watched a bunch of Lisa's videos, I said, well, okay, let me see who else I can find on YouTube that actually talks about Scentsy. And that's how I ended up finding uh, Martha's channel. And um, I think from there, I started watching Martha's videos about Scentsy. And then she started talking about vendor wax. And I was like, what? what is that? <laughs> I never heard of it. And she started doing, doing these different hauls of... Um, uh, so like I was saying, um, I once I discovered Martha's channel, I noticed she started talking about vendor wax and I had no idea what vendor wax was. I'd never heard of it. Um, I didn't know what it meant. <laughs> and so I started watching her videos. She puts out great, very meticulous, like very detailed videos, which is great for someone like me who's like, what is this? Where do I find it? What do I do? And so I blame Martha for getting me deep, sending me deep down the vendor wax rabbit hole. And so now here we are <laughs> where um, I get to enjoy, I still enjoy Scentsy and I'm also new to the vendor wax world. I have placed several orders. I'm just waiting for my items to come in. So you will start seeing those hauls and you'll start seeing those reviews in some of my empties. But that's kind of like how I got started um, with wax. And the reason that I still do it is because it brings me joy. Like I like for my home to smell good. I like to walk by and think, man, that scent just smells absolutely amazing. Um, now I will say like the type of wax or like my scent preferences, I am definitely first and foremost, first and foremost, <laughs> I was thinking of the word, a gourmand girl, as we say, like in the self-care community, I love gourmand scents. I love smelling like a baked good. I love for my home to smell like the sweetest, most decadent, rich, yummy scents. So I guess um, what most people would consider like fall and Christmas scents are like my absolute number one. Right below that would be like, you know, fun, fruity scents. Um, but number one is always going to be gourmand. So I'm having a great time with the different um, wax vendors right now because man, the scent combinations, I mean, I never knew that there could be so many spins on pumpkin pecan waffles. So I can't wait to get the things in and really start smelling them and using them and enjoying them. But yeah, that pretty much is um, my why wax, like why I love it, how I got started. Um, and like I said, I blame Martha <laughs> and outside of Martha, she does a great job of tagging people that she mentions in her channels. So from there I found Summer Michelle and I love her hauls. I think I just told her not that long ago in one of her videos that she is bad for my wallet. Um, but, and apparently my dog is also interested in barking in this video, but yeah, but yes, yeah, so that is pretty much why I am into wax and that's kind of how I went from uh, candles all the way to now where I am just a, a wax girl. Um, and so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.